When carrying out a design thinking process in support of your new digital business automation solution, tell us specifically how AI factors into that process. Do you have an understanding of how AI may need to be positioned, how it'll be utilized in advance of carrying out design thinking so that when everybody works collaboratively on figuring out the best possible solution, you already know, well, A the AI is going to do this, it's not going to do that. Or does the process of design thinking reveal that to you? As a, as a result of carrying it out, you discover, well, actually, instead of a human doing this, the AI should do this and the human should do that. Um, how does how does that typically turn out? My, my preference, personal preference, is to do these kind of sessions in the company and in the business domain that I'm very much familiar with, uh, focusing on longer term relations. Because the better you know this company, the easier it is to do inspiration sessions to see the points within the companies that might be improved by AI uh, to get the stakeholders already in place before you even start the design thinking session. I think this this kind of organization knowledge and business domain knowledge is very important for consultants that are helping these design thinking processes. Um, mm -hmm. we, we also do it sometimes at companies that we don't even know that ask us to do it. But still then, we prefer to do some kind of preparation, do a couple of interviews before, uh, do a bit of research in their business domain as well. Um, and we can still do this first phase of design thinking, like inspiration sessions, explain a bit what AI can do, show examples, do a common brainstorm of possibilities for their own company. It's a, it's a kind of first draft of a proper design uh, mm -hmm. thinking process, you might say. But, but I think you can deliver most value if you're very familiar with the company and their business domain and their challenges, actually. Yeah. So um, it is not as common for you to discover opportunities to use AI when carrying out design thinking. You usually have a good understanding ahead of time of how it should be positioned. And typically, that isn't really that, that doesn't change as a result of the design thinking steps. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a bit both. Yeah, yeah. It, it sometimes does. Um, actually, I like it very much when you kind of trigger people showing opportunities, showing possibilities, especially showing other implementations and people coming up with, hey, if that worked there, we could kind of implement it here, slightly different, but would that work? Could, could we create something like that? Yeah, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Th that, that is great. Yeah. No, yeah, because I I'm curious about um, what we discussed before the why. If if an organization comes to you, if you ask the organization why do you want to adopt AI, and they say we don't know, please tell us. And if if design thinking doesn't, if if the purpose of design thinking is not to reveal that, the upfront research reveals that. Is there a process for the upfront research in order to figure that out? If you, as, 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 the, as a consulting organization that provides that expertise, um, when they say, how and where is AI most relevant to what we do, um, is there a particular process you follow to figure that out for them? Um... Not really a particular process. Um, I kind of, when you were asking this question, I was kind of thinking about uh, the lectures I give, the master classes. Um, I also do that uh, at Nairo, the business university, and these are all people in an MBA program. So they have five, six, seven years of experience. They want to make next steps uh, also into boardroom level. Um, I lecture on architecture, but I always show the potential of new technologies linked to digital transformation. Okay, point one, you have to know enough about these new technologies, how they work, what they can do, what they are being used for now, where the, where the trends are heading. You have to know enough in order to look at your own company, your own situation, and to say, hey, how, how could this affect me? So in, the, in these master classes, I try to tend to trigger these people. And then we also have a, a common brainstorms and we're, we're doing the same for somebody else's company. Um, 
giving some examples. Uh, one I always use, like uh, it's one of my preferences. Hey, we can use AI as well to train uh, on juridical knowledge, law and regulation, case law, uh, all kind of formal procedures and regulations. Uh, just look at the present economy. How many people are kind of uh, working in a job that provides juridical advice? Plenty. I'm very, very sure that in 10 years from now, AI will have, have, it is already quite good actually, but will be so powerful that all this juridical knowledge will be inside and will be being used also by non-juridical people, normal civilians, normal companies. Okay, if that would be a trend, what would happen to your company? Um, and so I kind of trigger them in, uh, you could say, in kind of masterclass format, uh, also on board, boardroom level to start thinking about what is happening actually now. Mm -hmm. You can also focus that on one company and do some homework before uh, to, to trigger the, the conversation even more. Um, but but that, that is one way of doing it. It, it is kind of a evangelist way like, hey, I find you should know more about AI and then you have to do your own thinking to see what it, how it could impact your company. Yeah, yeah I, I agree with you. That's one thing that organizations need to do, which is improve their own internal understanding and knowledge of this, not only rely on outside guidance, because as you said, um, the business communities worldwide are moving more and more toward this as a core part, something they will depend on. So it'll become more and more common knowledge and you don't want to be left behind uh, in that regard as, as much as you know the advent of other uh, milestones in the past uh, be are common now, this will become you know, just as common.